I don't know. Very strange. I know. That's what I was like, can I try something like it's a test? But <laughs> that was tracking that. Um it doesn't doesn't make sense um at all. But I want I Virginia, I wanted to let, let you know that because I thought it was kind of cool. Um mm -hmm. yeah, that was uh that was right here. It was just like nothing and then boop, like a conversion. I've done this ten times now, and it's 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 never failed. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. It runs off the same four inventories smart shopping used to. Whatever that means. Oh, Regina, I wanted to kind of share this with you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Yesterday, we had a 2.7 ROAS and... Wow. Mm -hmm. That's magical. That was only one sale, but still, it's only the second day. <laughs> but we went from no sales, so all of a sudden, boop, it popped up. Um, right. Yeah, for so whatever crazy. for whatever reason i can't explain it but a feed only only works well i guess i would say when it's an upgraded from smart shopping campaign not uh to pmax not when it's a brand new pmax i don't know why um an oh, wow. upgraded from smart shopping to performance max then as a feed only that will work. If we try to use a feed only brand new smart shopping, it doesn't remarket all the previous users. So someone was like, yeah, I used to have this amazing account performance when I was on smart shopping. The only way to keep that is to take that upgraded from smart shopping Pmax and I upgraded it for him. I actually took an old Pmax campaign or old smart shopping campaign that was working. I upgraded that, stripped all the assets out, ran it. And then yesterday we had two point something. I don't know. Very strange. I know. That's what I was like. Can I try something like it's a test? <laughs> but that was tracking that. Um, it doesn't doesn't make sense um, at all. But I want I Virginia, I wanted to let, let you know that because I thought it was kind of cool. Because um, mm -hmm. yeah, that was uh, that was right here. It was just like nothing, and then boop, like a conversion. Two conversions. It looks like. Wow. Uh, just one. Oh. Yeah. But what was interesting is that like went from kind of like no, 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 nothing. And then all of a sudden, boop. Same ad spend that this was on here too, by the way. Well, we have yeah, actually, too, right? actually the, if you look at the cost, um, change one of those to the cost. You'll see what I mean. It was actually increased that same day. I, I put this one at a million. I know which it had been set to earlier that day. If you change one of those blue or red to cost, you'll see what I mean. During that time period, the cost was really low. Like change the blue or the red line. Oh, oh, oh I see what you're saying. To cost. So you can see it dipping and going up. Yeah, so this one here, the one that I started as upgraded, it uh started off at a million mm -hmm. right and the pmax campaign that you chose that number from had been yep. changed to that like three hours before got it that's what i was wondering by the client what was it before though it was half uh, i don't know because we lowered it at the end of the month then we increased it at the beginning of the month but we didn't increase it enough then the client increased it more on the same day that you did it so and it's all an idr so i have no idea what the numbers are so this budget change here that happened decreased and increased one three yeah. minutes later to 360. So this was 360 starting here. And the cost was 130, 86, 215, 203, 112. I set mine to a million and it goes to 1.4 like the next day. And the reason why I wanted to track this is because the previous smart shopping campaign still has all those audiences that it knows where to go. It's called the four inventories and Google couldn't tell me what it was, but they said, yeah, the smart shopping campaigns that were, that are upgraded to performance max still retain those four inventories. And I'm like, what are those four inventories? They're like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, okay. But when, when you turn on one that has those inventories still available, it's like, Oh, you mean I want to go back to after everyone that I used to go after on smart shopping and those type of people that are on the website here for like the last week. I'm like, yes. Yeah, Four million or one point four million. It overspent when it wouldn't even. It couldn't even get two budget. That's the difference. I don't get it. 
I, it would be really interesting for an economist to like measure the impact that Pmax had on the economy, like over the past yeah. months. Like, can you imagine? It's because the small, reason. It's, it's the reason for inflation, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, small. I mean, it's probably not like the main thing that's going on, but I'm just saying, small business is how you have a healthy economy. You have a lot of small businesses, and Pmax comes out, obliterates small business profit for several months in a row. No one can figure it out. We're the best Google Ads agents in the world. We still can't figure it out. It's been months. And, you know, um, no one's like talking about it. Like Google has so much influence over the economy right now. It's really scary. Yeah, so that's that's a good rule of thumb though. But I know we're talking, you have, you're like, hey, we always run feed only campaigns. Yeah. I, I promise you switch and it doesn't matter. Um, here's the scary part. This is where this word and everyone should probably see this because it's not going to make sense to pretty much any of us. But this performance max campaign um, that I upgraded from that started, let's just say two days ago, I upgraded this one from a smart shopping campaign. Oh no, that was when I turned it back on. It actually glitched. It was really cool it actually had the old one start up and then switch over to the new one this one hasn't been ran this is not a glitch i'm interrupting the video you're watching because i need to remind you that i'm always looking for people to join our team so if you're passionate about google ads and you want to work with the best google ads agency on the planet please go to solate.com forward slash apply speaking of working with the best google ads agency on the planet if you're having trouble with google ads and you want professional help that's what we do you can go to solate.com that's s-o-l-8.com to apply for your free no obligation action plan and if i've given you any level of value at all maybe think about giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel that's how we juice the youtube algorithm Rhythm so they actually know that I know what I'm talking about. If you have questions, comments, concerns, or confessions, hit me below in the comments. And now, back to your regularly scheduled program. Come on, upgrade. Since May 30th. So the smart shopping was running. May is stopped. So rest of so May, so June, July, August, September, October was dormant. October, it starts the next day, boop, converted. I don't know, it's weird. But yeah, you can take any previously dormant smart shopping campaign. Let's make this very, very well known because I, I hope I don't have to say this again because it's this powerful. So I wanna make sure everyone's paying attention. Any previously dormant smart shopping campaign that was running well can be turned back on as a smart shopping campaign by converting it, stripping all the assets out, turning off URL expansion, and just running the feed in that. If you have a performance max or smart shopping campaign that's already been converted, had a whole bunch of assets added to it, failed and then died. You can strip out all of those assets again, relaunch that same thing, just turn it back on and it will come back. I've done this 10 times now and it's, it's, it's never failed. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. It runs off the same four inventories smart shopping used to, whatever that means. But for any feed only campaign, and how about this? Here's a good rule. We should never run a feed only campaign that's not been upgraded from smart shopping. Hello everybody, it's the strategist team. I have Omkar with me and I have Sama. And today we're gonna to talk about the Pmax feed only strategies. Like it's next best thing to what we have, how we used to have smart shopping and we are kind of used to doing this smart shopping strategy 